Hello, fabulous fourth graders. Um, I wanted to teach you a lesson today on adding and subtracting large numbers. So our learning target for today, if you get out your math journal and open it to a clean page, I want you to write down the learning target. And I need you to write, I can add and subtract numbers up to a million. Most of you have learned last year how to add and subtract numbers. So we're just going to go a step farther and make the numbers larger. So first off, you have two different numbers. I'm going to read them to you. You have 2,456,789 plus 1,378,234. You also have 2,456,789 take away 1,378,234. Your first job when you are actually looking at these two numbers is to be able to line them up. So I have to know what place value to start with. If I'm looking at these two numbers, I want to know where is my ones place? Where do I start? So I'm going to circle that. You have your nine in your ones place and your four in your ones place for your addition. So I'm going to rewrite these numbers so they are lined um, up and down. And I'm going to, your first step is to line them up. So I'm going to start by just writing it out, the first number, and I'll show you how I kind of take the second number and place it right underneath. So I have two million, and um, if there's a comma in it, place it in there so you can group your place value sections in the right space. Okay, 789. Okay, now I see that my four is in the ones place right here. I have this four right here, so I want to line that up with my nine right here. I'm actually going to take this number and write it backwards so that I'm correctly lining up each number under the correct place value. So if I click back on my pen, I'm going to quick change my color here. And this is going to be four. Oh, I guess it didn't change color. That's okay. Three, two. Notice I have a comma. Eight, seven, three, comma, and one. This is really important to make sure each number is correctly lined up. So I have my nine and four, eight and three. 7, 2, 6, and 8, 5, and 7, 4, and 3, 2, and 1, okay? Even if you can add, if it's not lined up correctly, it could change your answer completely. So I'm adding this one. I'll be subtracting the second number, and I'm going to look for my place value in that one, too. I have 4 in the ones and 9 in the ones, and that's okay, um, To What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say, this can be addition or subtraction. And on the next page, we're actually going to do both of the operations, but I just don't have enough room on this page to line them both up. Okay, so this lesson is already assuming that you know how to do regrouping and some borrowing. So we are going to add or subtract starting from the ones place, moving all the way to the left in the millions place. We start with the 9 and 4 because this is in the ones place. And I'm going to add it up and continue to go down my numbers. So let me show you how I do that. 9 plus 4 is 13. Carry my 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. Carry my 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. I have a 0. I'm going to carry my 1 up above the 6. Bring down my comma so I don't forget to add it in. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. Carry my 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 7 is 13. Carry my 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. I'm going to put in my comma. There is no carrying here or regrouping, so 2 plus 1 is 3. My answer is 3,835,023. Notice how I did not say the 0 in this case. We're going to move over here to the subtraction, do the same thing. This time we're going to be doing some borrowing here and there. So first I'm going to take away. 9 take away 4 is 5. 
I don't have to borrow or continue to, I can just continue right down my problem. 8 take away 3 is 5. 7 take away 2 is 5. Oh, how funny is that? Put my comma there. I don't want to forget. 6 take away 8. So now I'm going to have to move over to the neighbor of 6 and borrow one whole from him. So I borrow from him. He becomes a 4. And 6 now gets turned into 16. You can write it here or you can cross this off and write it above. So whatever's easiest for you. 16 take away 8 is 8. Now I have this 4 here and I have a 7 under here. I cannot take 7 away from 4 so I'm going to have to borrow again from my 4. I cross off my 4, it becomes a 3. I put my 1 next to my 4 making that a 14. 14 take away 7 is 7. And then I move over to here, 3 take away 3. I can do that, it is 0. I put my comma here so I don't forget. 2 take away 1 is 1. My answer is 1,078,555. If you need help with figuring out how to regroup or borrow, I will be pulling individuals for those kinds of lessons so you can see how to borrow or regroup. Okay, to wrap up our lesson today, I'd like you to write down the following two problems in your notebook. The first one Write a number one and write 5,678,435 plus 2,312,678. Make sure you follow the steps. The first step is to line up your numbers. So make sure you know where the ones place value is. You can write the numbers what, however it is easiest for you to line them up. If you want to start by writing the millions and all the way down and then continue with the millions and all the way down. Whatever's easiest for you. Then I want you to write down 6,342,987. Take away 4,256,765. I'd like you to pause the video right here because I'm actually going to give you the answers right in this video right now. So please take a minute, pause the video, figure them out, see if you got them right, and I'm going to write down the answers. Okay, your first answer is 7,991,113. If you got it right, give yourself a pat on the back. If you got it wrong, look and see where you went wrong and maybe you can come and show me your notebook when you come to small group and we can talk about where you might have gone wrong. Your second answer is 2,086,222. If you got it right, give yourself a pat on the back. If you got some of it right, give yourself a pat on the back. If you're still struggling, that's okay. I'm here to help you. So please raise your hand and let me know. After you are finished with these two problems, I want you to click on the IXL lesson and assignment under this um, section on your Schoology. All right, good luck. Have fun. This is a lot of fun.